The People's Republic of China authorities have been very disappointed that Liu Xiaobo won the Nobel Prize for Peace this year. They are preventing him from going to Oslo to receive the prize. They are preventing his family also. And they are insisting on harassing him, his circle of friends, and with him most of the human rights defenders in China. What we can say? Well, this is not the China we wish to have. This is not the China that we have been used to have as a great civilization over thousands of years. This is a China which does not understand that the world is changing and that also a number of behaviors coming from the communist legacy have to be changed in China like elsewhere. What uh, we often say about the People's Republic of China is that it's an emerging power. It's a new dimension of markets and uh, human and capital resources. But what we can see on the issue of Liu Xiaobo is a China which is terribly old, not linked at all with the idea of modernity, still acting like uh, a feudal empire oppressing the citizens and even preventing them from traveling and going abroad to receive what is a universal peace prize such as the Nobel which has been given this year to Liu Xiaobo. As liberals and democrats of course we express our full solidarity to Liu Xiaobo and his family and we say once more to the Chinese that they are wrong. This kind of policy is not appropriate for the 21st century and for a world that we would like to see more united and more human.